Hey guys, so uh, I want to do a quick little speed and camera test comparison here between the BlackBerry uh, Priv and the LG V10. So two high-end phones, uh, about the same kind of price here, I think. Uh, maybe uh, the Priv a little bit more expensive, but you know the V10 is not a cheap phone at the end of the day. Uh, but we can see which uh, phone gives you the better overall performance. Uh, I think both of them obviously coming with uh, Snapdragon 808. Uh, so uh, it should be quite interesting to see how they uh, compare here. So we're just going to turn them both on at the same time. Really love the uh, direction both companies are making here with you know very innovative de designs here with the dual screen on the V10 and the curved display slider form factor uh, you know really uh, pushing the boundaries here of Android uh, you can see the V10 does come on a little bit faster here and we are all up to date as well on the uh, V10 So you can see so maybe it's to do with the security why it takes a while for the uh, priv to come on but again you know we are all up to date here in terms of the uh, applications etc and uh, the inbuilt apps so uh, we're all ready to go and let's see uh, how they compare here so we're just going to open up some apps first and then have a look at the camera performance uh, so we we'll start off with Twitter so a little bit of a delay here on the left and again and again So you can see the V10 is beastly when it comes to the speed, easily comparing to stock kind of devices without a skin. That was a bit closer, but still the V10 is, you know, racing in front like a high-end car. Whoa, that was silly. Let's try that again. And again, didn't respond to my touch. an awkward place uh, well I think it came up a little bit quicker as well then uh, so that is pretty cool uh, we do have a uh, few games as well let's have a look at the loading of the game So it's gold. So certainly taking some time to load the game there on the Priv. Uh, we can just try another game as well, just for clarity. Uh, modern Combat. <laughs> I need to download some extra data on the V10 so I can't test that one unfortunately but to me it seems that the uh, V10 was you know a little bit fast when it came to most of the day-to-day -day kind of apps uh, so maybe some improvements still need to be made when it comes to the speed here uh, really and uh, I have already had one update as I said so I'm guessing there'll be other updates uh, to come down and BlackBerry is a newbie when it comes to Android so we'll give them you know a little bit of a pass here but then again you know they are charging full whack here so you need to know you know which phone is the faster one and I think the V10 did load this a little bit quicker here and again GSM Arena
again. I noticed the uh, pictures uh, came up a little bit faster here on the V10. One more. Tech radar. So that was quite similar, but I did notice like a little bit of a refresh here, and you can see the ad coming up straight away on the V10 nearly. Uh, so I'm probably going to give the uh, V10 for the web browsing as well. Uh, certainly, you know, very fast uh, phone here. That's why I put it as number two when it comes to the uh, top phones here for 2015. Uh, can I have a look at the multitasking here? I have to say, even though you know it's a different multitasking on the Priv, it's actually quite uh, nice actually, because you can see like two rows of the icons, like uh, what uh, pertains to, which I think is quite efficient really. Uh, you can see in terms of the raw speed though, again it seems to be, you know, the V10 here, just that little bit faster. None of them reloading which is good. You can have a look at the uh, game and the camera. So about the same there, a little bit of animation on the Priv but you know not a huge difference. Uh, what about uh, go back into GTA? So none of them reloaded, but I think uh, this was a little bit faster, uh, unless my eyes deceived me. Uh, we can have a look at uh, WhatsApp, keyboard a little bit slower here. So I'm probably going to give it to the V10 when it comes to the raw speed as things stand right now. Uh, you know, the V10 is one of my favourite phones and I'm liking what the Priv, you know, has to offer here, but uh, facts are facts, I think there's definitely improvement when it comes to the speed that can be done, but obviously the speed performance is very uh, good nevertheless, and uh, you know, you want to know how the cameras compare as well, so we're getting 60 megapixel optical image stabilised camera versus 18 megapixel uh, Schneider camera which you know I'm not going to even bother to try and pronounce the second part uh, so uh, we can have a look at the actual performance here on them and you know I would put on your screen for now so you can see uh, how they compare so basically we did do some uh, daylight shots as well as out and about and uh, I have to say you know it's a massive step up when it comes to Blackberry for the quality of the images, uh, you know, things are very nice uh, and detailed when it comes to the day-to-day -day kind of shots and, you know, uh, very comparable to top-end phones here. Is it good as the V10? Uh, I'd probably say it's just a little bit uh, below the V10 when it comes to the camera right now. Then again, the V10 is more like a DSLR in your, in your pocket anyway, you know, it's actually I'd say competes with my DSLR in terms of like the quality. I'm probably going to do a dedicated video just you know comparing the V10 to like a proper camera because uh, it's that good really. Uh, but as I said, the BlackBerry is a massive step up. Nevertheless, I'm not uh, you know knocking it, but I think the V10 with the 6P uh, and the Note 5 are probably on a top flight at the moment. So. Uh, I did do also 4K uh, video test, checking out the optical image stabilization, so you can have a look at that as well. Hey guys, so uh, we're just checking out the uh, LG V10 versus the BlackBerry Priv for the video recording uh, in 4K. So uh, basically we just wanted to see how they handled a little bit of walking here. Both of them obviously coming with very nice optics. Uh, with the optical image stabilization as well as uh, all that good stuff uh, with the lens that I can't pronounce on the Priv. Uh, so you can see in terms of the walking seems to be quite comparable. Uh, very nice and smooth on both of them. Uh, we can have a look at the focusing as well. See if we can get uh, good focus on something. 
So both of them seem to focus quite quickly. And the priv did take a while to readjust then, uh, but maybe it was just a one-off. Obviously the V10 I think came with the laser system, which may help with that. So uh, I was quite impressed with the uh, video recording, it was very detailed, uh, there was very little in the way of like jello effect, so I think you can get some nice uh, video footage uh, on both of them to be honest, and uh, as I said uh, I was quite impressed as well with the low light as well, I felt that uh, it was very uh, good and handled well by this new Schneider kind of sensor in the uh, Blackberry. But I wouldn't give up my V10 when it came to the camera uh, for the uh, you know for the raw image quality. I think the V10 is among the best at the moment uh, and is very difficult to top. Uh, so, uh, but in terms of the other things, obviously you know uh, they are both coming with some nice uh, things here, such as a bigger battery uh, in the uh, Priv, which is you know holding up very well. Uh, obviously, you get your physical keyboard as well which uh, is very uh, nice uh, new innovative way of using a phone uh, that curved display which is super AMOLED I think the display is actually better on uh, the Priv here versus the V10 uh, V10 has a nice display but it's still LCD and a bit coldish as well you can see the colours are very vibrant on the Priv uh, so uh, there are some obviously advantages with the V10 obviously though with the dual screen and you know very nice uh, front facing camera uh, as well as uh, the laser autofocus on the back uh, which helps with like autofocus but you know two very nice phones nevertheless and certainly some strengths and weaknesses hope you uh, enjoyed the video and if you did don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one cheers